Knee injuries are also very commonplace in the physio clinic. So just to name a few injuries, and there are many when it comes to the knee, but I'll go over some now. So first up, we've got the cruciate ligaments. These are the ligaments inside the actual knee joint. So first up, commonly that you may have heard more commonly is called the anterior cruciate ligament. If that's ruptured, you'll most likely need surgery. There's also a posterior cruciate ligament, and they cross um, like an X um, within your knee, and they, they help stop forwards and backwards translation in the knee. A lot of the time though, if you have a rupture in your posterior cruciate ligament, you won't need surgery. Uh, let's go to some other injuries though. So we've also got, if we're uh, still going on the ligaments, we've got uh, your collateral ligaments. There's one on the inside called your uh, medial collateral ligament uh, and one on the outside, which is a smaller one, called your lateral collateral ligament. Now they can be injured just like any other structure. Uh, if we move further down, we've got um, the meniscus. Now that is a moon-shaped cartilage um, that's like a shock absorber between your knee. So it helps prevent um, damage in, your, in the joint. All right? Now that can be inflamed, but it can also be um, torn. Most likely if it's torn, uh, you will quite likely uh, need surgery for that as well. Uh, we've got fractures. Now when it comes to fractures, in the, the femur, the tibia or the patella, it generally requires a high energy type of an impact, such as falling from a, a fair height or a motor vehicle accident, which will cause fractures as well. We've got tendon injuries. A common one here is you called your patella tendonitis. That's another term for that is jumper's knee. So volleyballers, basketballers, people who require a lot of jumping in their sport often get some irritation in that patella. We've also got uh, some Osgood Slatter's disease. Now, that's common in adolescence. So more common in boys than girls. Very common in that 13 to 14 year of age um, area. Um, and that's where the patella tendon becomes very tight and pulls on the insertion point at the tibial tuberosity. Now, there's lots of different forms of treatment for that. Uh, which we will get into. Um, and we've got a couple more I just want to quickly cover now as well. Uh, this is more common in runners, uh, is, is one called your patellofemoral pain syndrome. And that's uh, basically pain that happens on the inside part of your patella um, and the uh, articular surface of uh, the femur. Uh, and lastly when it comes to runner's knee is iliotibial band syndrome. Now that uh, it's a, a strong fibrous tissue that starts uh, uh, at the outside of your hip and goes all the way down to the outside of your knee. And typically if you're getting pain in that regard, you'll feel some clicking uh, in this, this band of tissue on the outside of your knee. It can become painful and irritable as well. So as you can see, there's many different forms of knee problems. Uh, come in for an assessment uh, and we'll be able to identify what the problem is which is causing you your knee pain. As soon as we can diagnose the problem, then we can effectively treat the condition and we'll be able to tell you how long it will take for you to get better with treatment. Okay, so click on the button below and we'll see you in your assessment soon.